Welcome back to Prestige Motorsports. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about horsepower. Obviously, we're not going to get into the 2000, 2500. It's exciting. But what we have here is really our street engine package lineup. And it was a great opportunity with three exactly the same 427, 575 horsepower combinations. So what really kind of inspired this was more or less to give you guys a little bit of education, what kind of factors affect the final output of the engine. So I think it's important that you understand when we develop a package, typically it's not going to have a pulley stack on the front of it um, and we're going to use a common manifold. So uh, when everything started, it was all carbureted. So these 575s, used a single plane manifold. So we would use a single plane manifold with a 750 carburetor and no accessories. And the reason for doing that is that way when we go back to develop on that combination, that if we're gonna change camshaft or cylinder head development, that we have a baseline to go back to. We don't have any other factors such as pulleys and accessories or different induction that's going to affect the results of our testing. So with that being said, again, We've got three 575 horsepower 427 packages, and they're basically all identical. Internally, cylinder heads, camshaft, all of that's identical. What is slightly different is going to be the induction on top. They're all EFI motors, but the first one is using a single plane, very similar to a Vic Junior. It's from Pro-M Racing, so a single plane manifold, multi-point. Then we have the Borla induction old school eight stack. And then to the left is the Holly high ram. And this high ram manifold just happens to be fully CNC ported from us here at Prestige. Uh, primarily because uh, to get it to properly line up with cylinder heads, but there's some other reasons behind that. So also you're going to notice the pulley kits are slightly different. So Let's kind of focus on uh, that to start with. All right, so I'm just gonna pull a tape measure here and give you an idea. So these are basically all destined for Cobras. And this particular pulley package from us, the crank pulley measures six inch. This water pump pulley measures five and a half. Whereas if we take and pan over to the, uh, this is a March system, the lower is measuring five and a half and the upper is six. So one might wonder what's important about that. Well, this is actually overdriving the water pump a slight amount, nothing major. We have some uh, systems that drive it much faster. It promotes very good cooling uh, at low speed and idle. And then obviously this one slows it down a little. It's uh, some may understand it more as underdriven pulleys. So that one's underdriven. Just that in itself can affect the power. So if you watch a lot of our dyno videos, you'll say, okay, we started with a 575. We're running a full serpentine package. Maybe it's got air conditioning, power steering, and in this case, water pump and alternator. All of those accessories affect the final result of the engine. It's very important to know that because again, this one is going to suck more power out of the motor than that one because it's underdriven. So I just, that, that's kind of the starting point of understanding what affects that final power output. All right, so basically, obviously I mentioned the pulley kits and then the induction for the fuel and ignition. So I'll start with our multi-point over here. So this is basically a, a decent length runner and a, a, a fairly decent uh, plenum area, but nothing humongous. So this particular package belted out Peak horsepower, 557.7, so uh, very close to that 575. Again, we're, we're probably robbing roughly 10 to 15 on the pulley kit. All right, so speaking of dyno specifics and numbers, so 
you're probably going to find across the board a lot of people make the mention that there's a, a plus minus one to two percent variance uh, on a dyno itself. So a 575 combination at uh, a two percent variance is like 562. So it kind of gives you some range of where you should be. Um, and, and it's still telling us that the engine is fine, it's sound, it doesn't have any problems. Um, so then, uh, as we had talked about, the pulley kits can rob some power. Obviously, water pump speed is one, but also the alternator, and at what rate is it charging the battery? So a battery could be 12.5, and it, it drags a little more out of the motor to charge it, versus if the battery is at 13.2. I can tell you, we try to keep that variable as narrow as possible. So we run a trickle charger previous to running the engine. We try to always limit uh, the outside factors as much as possible. So this particular combination made 557.7, very close to 558 horsepower, and with the multi-point fuel injection. We say it's right there within the parameter because we're robbing anywhere from you know 10 to 15 on the pulley kit. We have the variable of, of how much the alternator is charging. And then of course, just some basic day-to-day -day variance uh, from testing. Even with a correction factor, your numbers are affected slightly. So ran very, very well. All right, so one of the things I did forget to mention here, this one, we list at 525 foot-pounds. It makes like 527, so the torque's right where it's supposed to be. And then we go to our eight stack. So the eight stack particular combination here uh, made 558. So it's right there within, a, you know, a half a horsepower. And, you know, so we're not spinning the water pump quite as hard, but we have eight stack induction. So how does this affect the numbers? So specifically looking at torque on this combination, um, belts out 545 foot-pounds of torque, which makes a lot of sense because the runner, the total induction runner from the top of this uh, stack all the way to the cylinder is a longer runner. And these are somewhat of a tight cross-sectional area. So uh, typically you're gonna see an increase of torque, which we did see. And then we, see, we did see the same amount of power uh, made 558, which is very, very close. Uh, and primarily the reason for that, I'm gonna say is again, cross-sectional area of that runner is smaller. So we're peaking about the same as the multi-point. Again, they're running right where they should be as advertised. Again, advertising 575, we take into account the pulley system and the induction and how that affects the overall output of that engine at the end of the day. So I saved the high ram for last, uh, primarily because it did make the most power. So there's a few things going on here with this. Obviously, as I mentioned uh, previously, is this has our full CNC ported program in it. So that opens up that cross-sectional area and we have a giant, fairly big plenum, a lot larger than this or the multi-point. So we would expect to see a few things, increase in horsepower, and then when we look at torque, where do we think we should be? Well, again, if you can tell, this is a pretty long runner, actually very similar to this. And that brings me to that torque output, 545 foot-pounds. So almost directly matches the torque. We can uh, attribute that to the runner lengths on both of these. And then the peak horsepower number, obviously we have a uh, better cross-sectional area through that runner and we have a bigger plenum. So therefore this thing ended up making like 610.5, so call it 611 horsepower. So obviously this has taken that 575 base and brought it up based on induction. Because again, these pulley kits are very, very similar, um, you know, to each other, minus the, the under and overdrive slightly. So it's almost fair to say, really, we take 15 away roughly with this, would have been 560s, and then brought it back up to 600 with the CNC manifold. So it says a lot about what this manifold itself, along with our CNC program, can offer the final output of the engine. All right, so the whole moral of this is really to just show you the variances in power, what affects power, 
Uh, and, and I just want to really highlight that this goes along with the core values of our company is honest and transparent. We're honest and transparent about the number the engine truly makes with whatever induction, with whatever pulley stack you have on it. So when you're looking to power your ride and you're potentially looking to purchase an engine from us is that you can assure yourself that we have those answers and we're gonna be honest and transparent about the power number that this particular combination makes. So I challenge you, if you're in the market and looking around, comparing us or whoever that might be, really dig down and deep and look and see how many companies test the myriad of components that we do here. Day in, day out, we're running something different. We're changing combinations just to give you an idea of what we are all about at Prestige.